Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel. We're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. And with me today, we're going to be talking with uh, some a couple of people who are representing um, the artists who are part of the Fall Foliage Tour in East County. This is a, um, a presentation of the West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce. And with me, I have Brad Lorang. Welcome, Brad. And Heather Soderberg. Nice to have you both here. Thank now, you, you are both artists in different mediums. Correct? Yes. Um, who wants to tell me first about, about the Fall Foliage Tour? Heather, can you address that as to what this is? And you've been involved in it before, is yes. that correct? This is the third year, so we've kind of gotten established. It's uh, the um, West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. It's a free, uh, self guided event. Free so is you get, good. Free yes. is good. Yeah. <laughs> like free. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, uh, there's still an open call to artists, so you, artists can oh. still get involved. and. Um, Basically, there is a big uh, gala opening in a gallery in Fairview, and then that will be open for a week, and then you'll get to see the artists in their studios at work on, uh, I think it's October 19th. And Great. So the whole thing is from the 13th of October through the 21st, is yes. that right? So it starts out with a gala, yes. and everybody can go and, and meet the artists. Will yes. the artists be Correct. there? Okay. And then after that, say, you say I, I meet you, Brad, at, at this gala, and I think, <laughs> Well, he seems like a cool guy. I'd like to see his work. <laughs> I can go to your studio Absolutely. and check out what you've been doing. Yes, so there'll be a self-guided tour with a map, and uh, you'll be able to uh, go and visit each of the studios, and a rare opportunity to see an artist's studio actually <laughs> clean and organized, <laughs> you know. Um, Don't miss it, because it won't last long, <laughs> no, right? <laughs> basically, that's the truth. Um, and we are trying to get other artists. Uh, we're still uh, wanting more artists on our tour, so, if, if there are artist. any artists who are interested who are in the in the Gorge area and in the West Columbia River Gorge area, then uh, even if they don't have a studio that they can mm -hmm. tour, um, there's an opportunity for them to be a guest artist at other studios. Mm -hmm. Now our gallery and studio in Cascade Locks, uh, we've got a couple of guest artists who will be demonstrating. Okay. And so it's really going to be a whole weekend of events. Um, most of the um, studios will have uh, hors d'oeuvres and things going on. So yeah. it's going to be really interesting for people to come and, and it's it's really a good time to get to see how the artists create the pieces that they do. Uh, Heather, uh, her studio and she also has an art foundry oh. um, and they will probably possibly we'll pours, be doing yep. metal, metal pours. So oh, yeah. you'll that be would be something that most people don't get to no. see. No, no so 2,000 degree saying. metal being poured. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Yikes. It's uh, really interesting, and then we'll be giving tours of the yes. foundry and showing the foundry process. And uh, the majority of the work that I do is fabricated, and I'll ha so I'll have my shop open, and people will be able to watch the way I do uh, the things that I produce. Um, wow. So uh, it sounds like fun. What what is the area that this covers? I mean, is this Fairview, Troutdale, Wood Village, yes, Cascade Locks. All the way to Ca Cascade uh, Locks. Cascade Locks is, is it Corbett? Uh, or not? It, yes, Corbett's included. Corbett. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. it's all, all along all the gorgeous, the, which yeah. is a beautiful area it too. It is beautiful. So, you know, Just to take a trip alone. Out yeah, there. yeah, it'll be a so wonderful. Especially this yeah. the, in the fall is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. When the, you can see the lots foliage. of colors yeah. and that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, all of the artists uh, will be producing a piece that will be an auctioned item. Mm -hmm and the night of the gala. So um, my piece was actually the People's Choice Award uh, last Yay. year. Um, well, in fact, I think we have a picture of that. Um, if we can get our crew to pull up a, a picture of the People's Choice Award, it's on your, it's on the poster this year, right? Now these are all um, yeah. typically yeah, our there, fall there it is themed. There. It's the, yep. now, okay, so this is, this is fall, right? This, this was fall. Um, this was called Lady of the, Lady of the Vineyard. And uh, I brought a couple of other pieces. It was actually a series of the Four Seasons. Oh, okay. So I also did uh, have a couple of other pieces here that are represent the other. I'm the other guess. Uh, this is winter. <laughs> this is winter. Yes. So uh, this I is uh, fabricated out of uh, my old steel, and I use both hot and cold applied uh, chemicals, uh, patina, and also metal stains, uh, which are uh, transparent, uh, like kind of like lacquers. Wow. And okay. uh, a lot of different techniques uh, in the process. A lot of it's how the metals, uh, the metal is finished. Uh huh. That's beautiful. And, uh, it's just beautiful. And you also have and summer. And then I also have. I call this piece uh, "Shades of Summer." Uh, that's great. Isn't that great? So, do you sell them as a set? 
You sell them um, separately? Well, I, needless to say, I have two of them left, so I've sold them separately. Oh. <laughs> they, ideally, okay. it would be that somebody be, wanted it, to collect it'd all be four, cool, but yeah. not yeah. necessarily. Um, so, as you see, autumn and or fall and uh, spring are not here currently because those have They've been sold. Um, found happy homes. Good. And uh, <laughs> then the other things that I, I do are typically things that are indigenous to the area. I do lots of mountains, trees, waterfalls. Uh, you know, landmarks of the gorge. Uh, Can you so. have one of those too? Did you? I, it? It's over there. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, so people I, can come to the come to the uh, the tour, and they can see the work that you've done. Is it dangerous work? Because you you're working with metals, and you too, Heather. I mean, you're both yep. doing things that sort of look yes, to me well, like they'd be somewhat dangerous. They can be. <laughs> yes. yeah, they can be. We all <laughs> have. Be very we careful. both have all of our digits. So <laughs> yeah, you know, good. Um, so far, so good. So I've been doing it close to and 40 years. And hers are prettier years. than yours. I'll, I'll note here. She's got and, red uh, nails. Yeah, huh? yeah, you should mine, try that. Yeah, mine yeah, are, yeah. Clay. You look like you're working, man. Mine look like I've been working. So, um, yeah, um, so I did uh, actually the foundry uh, for 25 years mm -hmm, prior yeah. to ah. kind of um, diverging into the fabricated work about 15 years ago. Oh. And uh, so pretty much been, uh, and Heather as well has been doing this uh, her entire life from the time you were, Forced what? into it. Well, tell me, tell me <laughs> about that, Heather. Old. Tell me about so. your, your background in, in art and your artistry. Uh, my dad was a welder, so I grew up almost literally in the foundry business. So. Wow. So. Started from a very young age, learned how to weld when I was 10. And <laughs> really? So, yeah. Wow. Hey, well, yeah. that's, that's one way to get a, uh, you know, put in on the, step up on the whole process, yeah. start real early. Yep. And, and you're a sculptor? Yes. And, and, how, and show me what, what you've done here. Um, here's two examples. Okay, let's, let's start with this yep. one here. So I sculpt, um, I make my own clay, and I start out with an oil-based clay and then I use a lost wax casting method and that involves about 13 different steps Wow and, and you know of course ends in cast bronze and what do you what do you call this one uh, she is Kai Kauhale and that is Hawaiian for the sea is my home oh, I love that I love the, I love the turtles thank you <laughs> great. it's beautiful thank you and, and this, this over is, here uh, is your work also yes and this is um, I do a lot of work with veterans and um, Cemetery. So this is uh, for a marine. Aww. These are his boots. So oh, how great! Yeah. yeah. So how great is that? So and how long have you been doing this? Uh, since I was two. So about thirty-five years. Since you were two. <laughs> yes. Sir. I'm guessing. Well, you weren't welding yet, but you were. No, I was. I was sculpting then. Was yes. it play-doh or what? <laughs> Wax. Really? Yep. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you always knew you wanted to be an artist. An yes. Artisan, I or, took a sabbatical from it. I actually always wanted to be a cop, but. I and were you a cop for a while? A little bit, and not a cop, but I worked in law enforcement in right? college. That's what I got my degree in, so I did rebel a bit, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm back in art. Well, I like that. It's, a, it's varied. It's varied. It is. What yes. about other artists? Do you know? Do you know the other artists? Is there yes. a camaraderie between very, the artists in this so. community? Yes. Yes. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. Group. Tell me about some other artists that are there, or, or or what it's like working. You're not. You don't feel like you're in great competition with not each other. Not at all. Not mm -hmm. at all. It's a wonderful group. Um, a lot of us are going to be sharing studios, and there's just so many different mediums, and yeah. there's so much creativity, and just, I mean, every different kind of material you could imagine, and wow. it's really neat and exciting. Yeah, yeah we're going to have, uh, uh, well, on our last studio tour, we had a, a glass artist mm -hmm. who actually came and did glass beads, and yeah. we had uh, um, a ceramicist who was doing uh, hand-formed pottery, and uh, actually had an artist who was doing a block print demonstration, so he was mm -hmm. he was working on carving uh, one of his blocks. Uh -huh. So we have a lot of different uh, mis um, mediums and a lot of different artists. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, our whole goal t um, out in Cascade Locks, uh, we Heather and ourselves uh, <laughs> are trying to build an art community out there and uh -huh. trying to get other artists. Uh, come out and, uh, yeah, you know, we be part of that community. It's so amazing you how many yes. incredibly talented artists there are in the Gorge area. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, like I said, we're, we're uh, got a call out to artists. So if any mm -hmm. artists who want to come and uh, want to uh, be part of this uh, uh, studio tour, uh, the sooner the better, mm -hmm. um, because we still have to get uh, the brochures and the maps and mm -hmm. everything right. printed. Right. Um, yep. They can get a hold of uh, the, the people at the West Columbia mm -hmm. Gorge Chamber to uh, um, 
get that. And it, like I said, even if they don't have a studio uh, that they mm -hmm. can tour in, if they want to come and do a demonstration and be part of this, yep. uh, it's fun. there will be, uh, they can coordinate other um, partnering with other artists yeah. who do have studio space and want, are willing to share. So I think what a great I like, opportunity for people to get out. Yeah, it will be. Mm -hmm. I think what I like best about this tour is the fact that it's it's fun to go to a gallery and look at work that's already been made, yeah. but to be able to see it actually being made, yes. it's, it's just so much more interactive, you know, whether, I mean, not that you're getting in there touching or whatever, but you're, you're but actually, you can. <laughs> but in some cases, I'm sure you can, yeah, yeah. but to actually see how yes. things are done, I think gives people a, a better appreciation for what goes into yes. it, for Pretty one thing, because so, like yeah. you said, how many different steps? Like 13, Over 13 different steps? Least, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's a lot, and I'm sure yeah. with your work too, because it's all the different textures and finishes, mm -hmm. and, it's, yeah. it's um, very involved, and so be able to share that with people and have them better appreciate what it is you do. I think and that's not great. That, not yeah. that I want to overly entice people, but <laughs> oh, often, ahead, overly entice often, oftentimes uh, there, is, there is wine and other, you know, <laughs> other types of beverages and that, things that like that. That entices me. I don't know about anybody you know, else. But <laughs> so. Well, and it's a great, I mean, it's a great thing for um, somebody to do on a, just on a weekend, you know. You, yes. you know, you have a weekend, you need something to do, take, you know, Take the husband out, or your best friend, or you know your parents, or you know whoever. Take them out, and, and I imagine it's pretty much family friendly as far oh, as oh, completely, you know, yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. even though there's wine, we just keep oh. that away from the kids and find something else for them. <laughs> exactly. Right. Right. There's other beverages. Too. Good, good, yeah. <laughs> so um, this is going to be. They said they have the gala, and then you have the the self-guided tours, and yes. then is there a final culmination at the end of it? I'm trying to remember. Yes, and, there is. The last night. It's Friday, October nineteenth. Friday, October nineteenth is the gala event, and yes, uh, yes and uh, you know. Um, so go to the website, and they can probably go to the website, website and find out yeah. more of the details. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're just yeah. artists, and, and uh, <laughs> we're are, are you've been, thankfully you've been better with art than we are with details. <laughs> oh, you're doing great. I think this will. I think this will be really fun. Um, <laughs> Well, it'll, it'll, it'll be a, a great event, and the, and the best part of it, it's free. Yes. So exactly. people that, you know, want something fun to do, family-oriented, family uh, so they can go to their website. I know there's a, they can go to www.fallfoliagetour, full, let me try this again, <laughs> fallfoliagestudiotour.com, and they can get yes. all the information there, yes. or I think also at the West Columbia yes. College Chamber yeah. of Commerce, yeah. and they do put on a lot of pretty cool things. I also want to mention before we run out of time that um, OPB did a, a couple of um, pieces on both of you yeah. and we'll put the information up on the screen. If people are interested, they can go to OPB, what is it? Um, uh, org, or dot, or org. Or OPB.org or yeah. Oregon Art Beat. <laughs> yeah, so it's the Art Beat part yes. of it and they did a, a piece on both of you, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Yeah, and I watched most of both of those and they were they were great. So <laughs> that's that's kind of nice, huh? Oh, it's nice. Getting getting yeah. a little more uh, exposure here. Yep. And yeah, it was it was great because they uh, took about 7 hours and got Seven good minutes of yeah. film, so yeah, that's the way know, it goes. That, yeah. that lends to lends itself to a, a pretty good show. Yeah, yeah, good, <laughs> good. Well, I'm glad. Is there anything else you want to add about the about the tour? Why people should come out and uh, want to entice us? Come on. Now. Well, you know, <laughs> if there's no other reason you could stop at the East Wind and have an ice cream cone. You <laughs> there know, you go. That um, works for me. Cascade Locks. So and, and for uh, people who haven't, you know, I'm, the people in this area should go oh, and it's to support it. Beautiful. But people from you know, well, further west in Portland. Yes. Really, if, if they haven't been out there, or if people haven't been to the gorge, you have oh, friends beautiful. from out of town or family from out of yeah. town. What a great oh, yeah. thing! And being self-guided, you can completely yeah. just take yeah, your time. Go take and go your look leisure. at a couple. Go exactly. have lunch at one of the great places around yes. here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yep. sounds good. Well, we're about out of time, so thank you, Brad and Heather. I appreciate you both being thank here tonight, you. and you have beautiful artwork. So I hope thank that you. you know everybody will take a chance and you know take a take the time to go and, and visit and enjoy the the tour. Thank you. Yes, yes you bet. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of Community Hotline. I'm glad you stayed with us tonight and joined us for uh, a lot of good information. We'll be back here again next week at the same time. I'm Monica Weitzel. This is Community Hotline.
I supposed to do with all these corks? Turn them into a cork board. What about all these floppy disks? How about a fantastic journal? Hmm, I wouldn't learn how to make cool things like that. Well, come on down to Scrap. Scrap has monthly workshops where you too can learn how to make great things. We provide everything you need. For more information, call 503-294-0769 or go to www.scrapaction.org. Scrap, create more, consume less.